Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, top science news and how it ties into the bigger picture, and our October event is set. Details on all of it coming up here, and we're starting with our star. We see the southern coronal hole and another incoming just north of the equator. Bright active regions indicate lots of sunspots, but there hasn't been any significant flaring. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are relatively quiet. It's an underperforming stream from the previous coronal hole. And while there haven't been solar flares of note, we did get a couple smaller eruptive events like the filament on the south or the rapid ejection from the incoming group on the north. Neither one aimed at Earth. But we still do have a lot of sunspots, as we said. There are two regions developing a bit of magnetic complexity, trailing group on the south and the incomer on the north, and we'll monitor them for flaring today. First up in the articles is yet another example of pre-earthquake electromagnetic anomalies. For those new to the topic, big quakes absolutely do give themselves away and there have been repeated confirmations of things like this, electron anomalies in the atmosphere above the event to come. For veterans who have our solar terrestrial physics textbook, that's pretty much all of chapter 7, and despite the dozens of studies highlighted there in the last 18 months, an equal number of new confirmations have come out. Yesterday we saw how DO events hit differently in different parts of the world, and here we get the same story with Heinrich events. These are on about a 6,000 year cycle, the half harmonic of the great 12,000 year cycle we've been studying, and during the interglacial periods they look very different, which is why the tropical hydroclimate event is what happens during that warm period, like what happened 6,000 years ago, the greenest of the green Sahara periods. A quick reminder about this half cycle, they do indeed happen regularly with the exit from the glacial period 12,000 years ago and the mid-Holocene event 6,000 years ago looking a bit different than the previous ones contained within the glacial period. Not only did we have major climate events on this cycle, but we've also gone over how the geomagnetic changes run with them, including more minor events on the half harmonic like the Helena Poly geomagnetic excursion 18,000 years ago. The most important aspect of all of this is to recall once again, the cycle is due again now and every sign is here unfolding. This is a huge topic covered thoroughly in our latest book, the 2022 Observer Supplement. Now lastly folks, a note on the ongoing event. Anomalous wind is one way to put it. They are finding that upper level winds reach maximum at a level much higher than predicted. What's wrong with their predictive models? Well, nothing mathematically. In fact, it's solid given past data. The problem is that with Earth's weakening magnetic field, which is not part of their model, more energy is deposited into those upper layers, and that's what's happening now. So without that in the models, observable reality seems very anomalous indeed. In reality, it's another sign in the sky right now. Folks, our October Observers event is being hosted at Flying Leap in Southern Arizona. This is not a simple meet and greet, but a more formal event, including a presentation by yours truly. Only 50 tickets available for the October 14th meeting down south of Tucson. Hope to see you out there. The link to get your tickets is found below the video. And remember, our books featured in today's show and much more, it's all 20% off at our Shopify. Take advantage of that in the last few days of the month here. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.